as many of you know, we love to celebrate the little things in life every day. And today, in honor of International Waffle Day, which also happens to be a Hallmark Smaller Day, we are making sweet and savory waffle bites, perfect for any meal, right, Deb? Smaller days are awesome. Smaller days. Also this... joining us at the counter for our delicious uh, waffles, Kim begged to be here. And she yes. said waffles one, one more time. time. That's right. Literally, we had a waffles yeah. ding, waffles <laughs> ding. That's right. Yeah. LZ and Paige, we're yeah. all here. Yes. We're ready to dig in. Everybody's yes. Yes. very yes. excited for International Waffle Day. We're here, <laughs> and they're excited that I'm going to be making something in the kitchen. Oh. I know they are, despite. Oh. Oh. No, this is going to be good. You, this is going to be good. I do, do, do breakfast. breakfast, but what I'm going to be making is good for any time. And that's one of the things I love about waffles is that okay. is that everybody likes it a little bit different. You yeah. can customize them. You can have them for breakfast, brunch. You can put them away later and have. A little snack or a for the snack kids, or doodle. especially the way that we are making them here today. Well, I don't know if you know this, Cameron. Um, mm -hmm. Waffles are one of my very favorite things, Let's and see. they're also everyone here at the counter knows one of my very favorite things to give as gifts. Oh, I have oh, given oh, more yeah. waffle makers to people on this set mm -hmm. because you know why? I feel a waffle maker is not something that a person buys mm -hmm. when they go to what a, great a kitchen supply store. They don't think, oh, let me buy a waffle maker. So I buy that for them because it makes everything seem fancy when you make. And everybody has that response. Oh. A waffle maker. <laughs> no, but that's true because no, they need I it. Loved, I that's loved. what's so good about it because you need it. Thank you very much, LZ. I haven't You're given you a cake. waffle maker yet, but I after after I see what you make, perhaps I will be giving you a okay. waffle maker. Fingers You're crossed. A savory one. I am. I am indeed. We're making savory one. This is going to be delicious. This is uh, going to be so a good. cheddar apple waffle. What? Here oh. we go, everybody. Oh. We start. Yes, mm, cheddar good, apple. It? It's going to be great. We start with our uh, traditional uh, waffle recipe here. We've got a little bit of flour, our dry ingredients, some salt, a little bit of uh, sugar as well as some baking powder. Uh, when I say a little bit of flour, what I meant to say was quite a bit of flour. Uh, and then we're gonna go into the wet ingredients here. Some eggs. Okay, whisk those eggs. Up. Go whisk these go up. You want me to take them? Now go. you do that. You go. Here we go, a little bit of milk. There we go. Okay, and how about this? How about a little sour cream? What do you think yeah. about that? Yeah, I why sour cream? It. Sour cream, really first of all, you know, coming from me, it's got it's a great source of calcium, so yeah. you're going to add some nutritional benefits in here, as well it adds oh, uh, so just a little tanginess yeah. Yeah. to the yeah. flavor of the waffle. You getting that? Yeah. A little yeah. bit? This a little bit of tang in there. Whisk that all up. Yummy. And then some coconut oil as well. Nice. Obviously, oh. we uh, we love our coconut oil, great healthy fat. So once we've got that mixed, okay. we're going to combine these two. Gosh, you did a great okay, job. Okay, thank yeah. you. I mean, I'm whisking honestly, away. I can take there some whisking notes from you. So we're going to. Uh, did you take my whisk away? Oh, did you need that? Should, I'll tell you why. You probably shouldn't use a whisk for that because it's going to get caught. That's there what I go. meant to say. I'm going to yep. use yeah. the spatula over here. <laughs> you can do it to have a sous chef in the kitchen. Right. Uh, Make sure fantastic. it's Fantastic. Now, here is where, once we kind of stir this up, Deb, yep. you ready for this? Yeah. Go. We're going to add a little bit of cheddar. Okay, you get that going. And we'll fold in the cheddar. And uh, use your favorite cheddar. You know what I mean? Sharp, like you, yeah, regular? Yeah, sharp, regular. It depends on if you want a little bit of a bold, a little stronger flavor, use the sharp cheddar. If you want a little bit more mild, then that's fine too. Use your mild. Well, wow, that's and a thick batter too, It's huh? a little bit thick, yeah. Okay. And then some uh, some shredded, some grated apple, just like that. Oh my gosh, do you oh, know what I, I thought that, that was? For a second, I, I thought that was hash brown. brown. I, I thought it was hash no. I thought it was hash brown. No. It's got, now I use the green apple because I love like this, just a little bit of tartness, got a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. So it's not gonna overpower your waffle. Granny Smith. Because in general, I, I, I you know, tend towards the savory side of things yeah. and I don't yeah. like it to be too sweet. So but that's you know, I, like. I also love apple and cheese together. That's yes. always a great yes. combination. But you know what, next time you should try to put the hash browns inside and see yeah. what that's about. That would be great oh, too, man, right? International yeah. Waffle Day. Uh, Every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. So you keep on mixing like this, obviously right. you get the idea. And what we've done today, we kind of alluded to this earlier, is once you get it mixed up a little better than I've done here, you, do you little just bites. use a little mini ice cream scooper just right. like this, small. and you use the little bites like this onto your waffle, uh, your gift that Debbie got you for right. Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> your waffle iron, and they come out looking oh, like oh, this, little guys, beautiful. just like this. Like a waffle and how long? Mm. How about three go. minutes? All right, three minutes. Do we have a plate. Oh, here, we'll just leave them on yeah. here. Yeah, yeah no, we grab have a plate. Yeah, we, we got a plate. Got a plate. Because I need there to use the same waffle maker. Delish. And you served it with some whipped cream. And served it with a little whipped cream on the side to keep okay. that savory kind of theme going, just like that. All right. That's beautiful. Now I'm gonna make you a sweet one. I don't know if you guys have dug yeah, into my chocolate You'll taste mine waffle. Later? I will taste yours later because okay. I gotta get I gotta get cooking, <laughs> baby. Okay, so over here I have my dry ingredients. I have just some flour, some baking soda, some baking powder, and some salt. Okay. And okay. add sugar to mine. Then I'm adding just your regular hot cocoa oh, no. mix. No. Whatever your favorite hot cocoa mix is, it, it sort of elevates this recipe and makes people think that you've gone the extra mile and all you've done is no. put in hot cocoa mix. Love it. 
There you go. Mix that in there. Woo! You like Woo. that? And you get a little, uh, little... A little whiff of it. Yeah. Um, you inhale some chocolate in the uh, process. I have here some eggs, some milk, and some um, sunflower oil. Because okay. I like to use sunflower oil or vegetable oil. Okay, and you add good. this slowly so it doesn't. Let me slow that down. I don't okay. want that to actually splatter back on us. You add that in there just like that. So my batter is going to be a little runnier than yours. Yours was pretty thick, but that's also because you had so much stuff in it that yeah. was, you know, very hearty. I, so that's more of a typical pancake mix. But in general, that's okay, isn't it, to have, yeah. like, especially when you have a waffle iron or waffle maker like this, that you can exactly. kind of have it as a thicker batter or a more runny batter. There you go, better. just like that. You make that, you combine all that, make sure it all comes together. Then we use the same, where we go, here we go, we use this guy. And we, this is going to drip a little bit. And we just scoop it out, just okay. like this. Okay, and you want to... Make sure you, you put it on, see it's a little runny. You want to put it on the corners because we just, oh. like I said, make oh, little bites. So I don't cool. want them all to come yeah. together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like that. And this is going to take about two or three minutes, just like yours. And it's going to come together. I want to do one up here too, but not too much. Mm. And then I serve it with, let me close that. I serve it with some homemade whipped cream, which I've just made with some heavy whipping cream. And some sugar in a cold bowl, and you oh whisk that goodness. together until it whips up. These a really are the epitome of, of sweet oh, and salt wow. and Look at savory. Look there at that. Go. Look at that. And then Ooh. you dig in.